Let's do some more equilibrium. At 988 Celsius, the equilibrium constant for this reaction is 24.5. To start the reaction, 6 moles of SO2 and 4 moles of NO were placed in a 2 liter reactor. What's the con concentration of NO after the reaction's at equilibrium? Okay. Finding concentration at equilibrium, that screams rice table. So we start out SO2, it's a gas, plus NO2, it's a gas, equilibrium, NO gas, plus SO3 gas. Okay. In a rice table, we put in concentration values, so 6 moles over 2 liters leaves 3 molar SO2, so 3 molar and 4 moles over 2 liters is 2 molar NO2. None of the products were indicated. Often the products are zero, but occasionally the problem, the problem will indicate that there are some products present in the initial reaction concentration stuff, so be careful. Okay, okay. So change in terms of x, everything has a coefficient of 1, so that's minus x, plus, ay, 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 not there, not there, not there, minus x, minus x, obviously, plus x, plus x. So if you wanted to write it in terms of x, an equilibrium row, which I often don't, but it might help some of you to do that, it would look like this, and then what? We're trying to find the concentration of NO at equilibrium. So we're actually trying to find that value right there. Well, that means we're going to need to solve for X. We know the KC value of the reaction up there up the top. So KC expression for this guy is NO concentration of NO times concentration of SO3 divided by the concentration of SO2 times the concentration of NO2. So if I plug in the values from my equilibrium row, that becomes X times X divided by 3 minus X, 2 minus X, and that equals the KC value they gave me, 24.5. I almost wrote the wrong number, 24.5. From there, solve for x. I won't always walk through all the math details, but we're going to walk through the math details of this one. The last rice table where I had to solve for x, I had numerator squared, numerator squared over denominator squared, and so I could solve the whole thing by taking the square root first. That's not the case here. My... Um, 3 minus x and 2 minus x, you can't square root that thing. So you have to foil out the bottom of this, you know, multiply these and multiply those and all that kind of thing. x squared over 6 minus 2x minus 3x plus x squared. As long as I multiplied that out correctly, let me double check my notes to make sure I did it right. Sometimes I'm rusty, but looks like I got that one right. So it's x squared over 6 minus 5x plus x squared equals 24.5. Starting on the math, solving, isolating for x, 24.5 times the whole denominator gives me, uh, let me check my notes. 147 minus 122.5x plus 24.5.5x squared. Okay. Zero equals 23.5x squared minus 122.5x plus 147. Squished over there. That says 147. Why did I set it equal to zero? Because I've got an x squared, and to solve for an x squared, I'm going to need to use the quadratic equation. That's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Hopefully you kind of remember that's how that works. 
So my A is equal to 23.5. My B is equal to negative 122.5. And my C is equal to 147. So if I plug that value into the quadratic equation, I get two values of X. Let me get us to a new slide. For this very first quadratic equation, I guess I'll write out the whole thing. So that's negative B, which ends up becoming 122.5, positive 122.5, plus or minus square root of 122.5 squared minus 4, 23.5, 147. If this feels like I'm insulting your intelligence to walk you through the quadratic equation, that's okay. It's not a long video. We get two values for x, and the two values for x that I got are 3.34 and 1.87. One of those values makes sense. One of those values is incorrect. Which is which? Well, if I go back here, uh, 2 minus 3.34, that would give me a negative concentration of NO2. I think not. So it must mean the real x value is 1.87. So the question was asking for what's the concentration of NO, and NO is one single x. So the concentration of NO is 1.87 molar. All that to find our concentration is 1.87 molar. We had to do the quadratic equation because we couldn't simply square root both sides like our last example that we did together. That's so fun. How about some more? Pure COVR2 was put in a one liter flask until the pressure was this. Then it was allowed to react as follows. At equilibrium, the total pressure, pressure in the flask was 0 0.880 atmospheres. What's the value for a KP? Well, similar but different type thing. We're told to find KP. That means we need to find equilibrium partial pressures. KP equals uh, partial pressure of CO as partial pressure of BR2 R2, divided by partial pressure of CO BR2. So we need to find those three, three partial pressures in order to find the KP of this reaction. Okay, how do I find that? Well, pure this was put in a flask until the pressure was this. Hmm, I can do a rice table. When in doubt, try a rice table. You can often get somewhere. We're really going to do tons and tons and tons of these. So I hope you start to feel like you're understanding we need to do them all the time. The pressure, because we can put atmospheres in a um, rice table, the pressure was 0.463. There's no indication that there was any of either of the products in the beginning. Change in terms of X minus X plus X plus X. 0.463 minus X. 0 plus x, 0 plus x, we're going to wait and do this last line in atmospheres. So, hmm, how do I do something from here? Hmm, I'm not told a KP value, so I can't solve for x the way I did in the very last problem, but I am told P total. And as you may recall from last semester, P total is the sum of the partial pressure of all the things. So all of those things are gases. So that's partial pressure of COBr2 plus the partial pressure of Br2 plus the partial pressure of CO is equal to P total. So I can plug in my X values for that. So that's 0 0.880 is equal to 0 0.463 minus X plus X plus X. And from there, I can solve x. Well, this one, 0.463 plus x equals 0 0.880. Where did, why did I put that point over there? I don't know. Subtract it over to the other side. x equals 0.417. So if x equals 0.417, that means I know my concentration here is... Uh, 0 0.046, 0 0.417, 0 0.417. There are my equilibrium partial pressures, but I'm being asked for KP. KP is 
0.417 squared, because it's really both of those multiplied together, divided by 0 0.046. Plug and chug, and the value I've got for KP is 3.78. Whoop, whoop. No units on KPs, no units on KCs. Done. Hurrah! We'll do lots and lots and lots of ice tables. Get some practice.